Hello everyone, my name is Roshan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we will learn how to edit this beautiful birds image in a bit moody color tone. So this is the before and this is the after. Now before getting started, uh, if you guys have a very old camera, then you can probably relate to these dirt spots here on the lens. So what you can do is that uh, if you ever find these dirt spots on a camera sensor actually, so you can use this healing brush tool and you can just tap on it. And it will remove those dirty spots because as a photographer I can understand how much pain you must be feeling, right? If you ever see any of those in some rare image whatsoever. So to verify if all the dirt spots have gone, you can now click on dehaze. And after dehazing, you can still check if there are any dirt spots left. And if it's not, you can just revert it back to how it was before. Now before creating uh, moody color tones, first we are going to adjust the lighting. To adjust the lighting, um, first we need to visualize which kind of image do we want. Now in this case, uh, we need an underexposed image, a bit moody, right? So I'm going to decrease the exposure a little bit. I'm going to increase the contrast, highlights and in this way, um, we can create our images a bit underexposed. I'm gonna keep it somewhere here. And I'm going to increase the clarity. It will sort of, um, in layman's terms, just increase the sharpness or the clarity in the image. I know in Photoshop, uh, those two are very different terms, but this is just a lemas language, right? So now, um, after you have done all those adjustments to create moody color tones, you need to head back to curve section. In curve section, uh, we have your four or five options. This is a red curve, this is the green curve, and this is the blue curve. What we need to choose is, uh, we need to choose the RGB curve. Uh, that's basically the combination of red green and blue and RGB curve is used to adjust the lighting in the image so uh, we have here left hand side you can see one point right just uh, do a left click on it and make sure it's still uh, towards the wall I mean towards the boundary and just pull it up a little bit like that now you might say that this image is looking absolutely terrible but I would tell you to wait for some time after you have done this uh, just drop it and select a middle point for example here just do a left click and after doing a left click you need to click on this middle point and bring it down uh, slowly and also notice our image if it's really looking good you can keep it if you feel uh, if you have uh, pulled this all the way up and the image is looking a bit more faded than ever then you can pull it down and you need to find that sweet spot uh, where you can actually uh, find your image a bit enchanting and uh, not looking cringe at the same time. So again, um, this will take a bit of experiment and if you want to increase the highlights, just uh, put one more point here and it will create a very moody image as you can see. But again, we are going to look at that later. First, we need to adjust the lighting, making sure we don't over edit our images. So this is something which I like. If you want to see how your image looked before, you can click on this icon. And this is the before and this is the after. Uh, so again, uh, we are going to pull this down a little bit. Uh, let's keep it up. Try to adjust it from here. So this is more or less how our image will look. Now when we are creating moody images, uh, one of the best combinations which I have seen on the internet is people usually increase the temperature because it gives those aesthetic vibes so if I do it uh, you can see our image is already looking a bit better than how it was before 
so this is the before and this is the after so this was my tutorial on, on how to create moody color tones uh, in photoshop so i hope you will like this tutorial and thank you so much for watching it